Krishna. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I know the Leader of the House loves patronising uh, MPs on this side of the House, but to be honest, I've been patronised by much more illustrious people than him. Um, can we have a debate, because he didn't take this question seriously earlier, about the evacuation from Afghanistan? Because many of us still have constituents and friends of constituents who are stuck in Afghanistan in very dangerous and frightening situations. And some of us are concerned that the process of deciding the priorities back last summer was not as it should have been. Uh, and in fact, it was so chaotic, maybe for good reasons, but perhaps for bad reasons as well, that bad decisions were made. We also would have an opportunity, if we had such a debate, to clear up the fact that the Prime Minister has repeatedly said that he took absolutely no um, role in the decision for Penfarthing and Nowzad to be evacuated, um, whereas the Prime Minister's PPS wrote a letter in which she made it clear that he, she was involved as his PPS, and we now have in the Foreign, in the Foreign Affairs Select Committee an email from um, Lord Goldsmith's, uh, one of his officials, uh, so a, a member of the Foreign Office team, saying that the Prime Minister had authorised this. We need to get to the bottom of this. There may be a perfectly innocent explanation, but it may be guilty as charged, mayn't it? Leader. Uh, thank you, um, Mr Speaker. Um, under Operation Pitting, our armed forces and civil service worked around the clock to evacuate 15,000 people, including around 8,300 British nationals and 5,000 people through the Afghan relocation policy. This was an incredibly successful and pressurised operation, and our armed forces once again showed what amazing things they can do when called upon to do it. And the Honourable Gentleman is fussing about a few animals. I think, it shows, I think it shows the level of seriousness which he characteristically brings to today's debate.